I call the Honourable Member Catherine Delahunty. Tēnākoe, Ms Hunty. Tēnākoe, Mr Speaker. Nā mihi noi ki te hapu katoa o Tauranga Moana, uh, me Ngāti Tahu, me Ngāi Tā Marawaho Tēnāra Koutou. Thank you for coming here to see the third reading of this important bill. I'd also like to acknowledge the Māori Fair Stick Committee and the promoter of the bill, Te Uruo Flavo, um, Tēnā koe. It's awesome. Um, as, my previous, as the previous speaker uh, said um, from the Labour Party, let's make a trend. You know, this could be a trend of Church Mission Society um, descendants handing back whenua to tangata whenua. Sounds like a good trend to me. Um, I was privileged to speak on, on this uh, second reading of, and the first reading of this bill, and I'm going to keep it short, but I'd just like to make a couple of comments about um, what we're doing here today and the important history. I was recently at the battle site at Pukahinahina, stood there in the heart of Tauranga thinking you know, of O Tamataha um, Mission Bill, thinking of everything that I'd learned about Alfred Brown and the history of the Tangata Whenua and what they went through, and just how important it is to go to those places, stand there and feel it, and just to feel the responsibility that we do the right thing here when we have the opportunity. This is not so much about a, um, a chrysalis becoming a butterfly. This is about replacing prejudice, violence, discrimination and alienation with justice and hope. And it's high time, over time and just in time that we do this kind of work. So I really want to acknowledge the, the tangata whenua for the efforts of the ahika to hold fast to the whenua, to the whakapapa and to the history, because that is a gift to the whole nation. The original purpose um, of, of um, Alfred Brown and the, and the Church um, Missionary Society was um, the evangelising of the heathens one of my favourite expressions, the evangelising of the heathens. And the problem with evangelising of the heathens is, is that it takes messages of love, peace um, and hope mixed up with messages of sin, guilt and the implication of Western religious beliefs being superior. And it was that that did so much damage in, in the history of this country and in places like at the Otamataha Mission because those are mixed and conflicting messages that have had a destructive effect as well as a positive effect. And so, yes, we must congratulate the church people of today for their sincere and well-guided um, endeavours to work with tangata whenua to create a better future based on justice and to return the whenua but let's not forget that evangelising of the heathens is never a good idea evangelising full stop is usually about um, propaganda, control and alienation and the idea that the person's ideas or the organisations such as the church misery that their ideas were superior to others and that in itself is a damaging concept and so let's have no more evangelising I think that would be excellent if we stopped evangelising in, in Western culture and actually took, took our, um, our relationships back to the concepts that um, started in the 1800s um, from, from Te Treaty of Waitangi and the Declaration of Independence, He Whakaputanga. Um, if we go back to those, we will be guided by a greater and less evangelising concept, the concept of, of negotiation, harmony and peace based on the recognition of Tangata Whenua and Tangata Treaty. So congratulations to Otamataha Trust um, for shifting, moving over, for the rightful owners of this place to take their leadership. Um, we recognise that, um, again, that the Whenua and the Whakapapa um, have eventually been acknowledged. It takes a long time, far too long, for these things to be acknowledged in this country, but at last we have got there. And I'd, like, I'd just like to express the Green Party's full support for those people, for their efforts, and for the, their leadership. May Tangata Treaty follow the lead of Tangata Whenua and let Te Treaty or Waitangi speak. Kia ora tato.